All right, competency two, skill one. Identify and classify simple two and three dimensional figures according to mathematical properties. So there's a couple of things that we can be asked to do here. And first and foremost, just uh, we're given a picture, whether it's of a two or three dimensional object, and we'll be asked to basically name the shape. That's one type of problem we'll see. Two, we can go ahead and be given a figure or be given the name of a figure, so something like a rectangular prism, and we could be asked to identify how many faces it has, how many edges it has, how many vertices it has, things like that. And lastly, uh, some unique circumstances, so comparing special types of uh, polygons, so equilateral with isosceles or squares and rectangles, things of that nature. And so we'll be going over all three in this video, so just go ahead, sit tight, and let us take over. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and start with our 2D shapes. We're gonna go ahead and name them by the number of sides that they have, starting with a triangle, and then any shape with four sides is a quadrilateral. I know we wanna say either a square or a rectangle, first and foremost, but if it has four sides, it's actually called a quadrilateral. Five sides is a pentagon, and moving on, we have a hexagon with six sides, heptagon with seven sides, and an octagon with eight. Then you have a nonagon with nine, and a decagon with 10. And so you're going to want to go ahead and familiarize yourself with these uh, simple 2D shapes because a couple of questions that they'll ask you will be based off of that knowledge. So looking at a sideless or infinitely sided shape, we call this the circle. Depends on who you're asking. But a circle is, again, another 2D object, and it doesn't exactly have sides as you could say it has one side or a bunch of little tiny sides. But that's, that won't be necessary for you to take the GK math. That was just me kind of going through some uh, mathematical debate there. When it comes to a circle, you know, usually we talk about side lengths when it comes to these shapes. But when we're discussing a circle, a circle has a radius, which is the distance from the center to the edge or the circle itself. And we usually use R for the radius. And then we can talk about a perimeter. Uh, when we're talking about perimeter of a circle, we're talking about circumference. Uh, but again, this is a little extra. This won't be, uh, this competency and skill won't involve knowing what a circumference or area is. Others will, but this won't. won't. 